Hello there, my name is Paige Plinsky. Come join me at the fire for tonight's chilling story. This is a realization. Wind billowed through the sea of trees, howling through the leaves, sending shivers down the spines of anyone unfortunate enough to have wandered off the narrow trails and off into the thorny brambles and underbrush. A crunch echoed from behind a tree. Her head swiveled. What she saw did not help calm her nerves. She saw curved spikes that rose into the air as glowing eyes were fixed at her every move. A scream tore open the forest. The creature startled, turned, and galloped away. Broken branches and torn leaves left in its wake. She let out an exasperated sigh as realization washed over her. It was just an elk, she reminded herself, the five words repeating in her head. She kept along the path, which each step was a loud crunch. Something scrambled in front of her. Another scream escaped from her throat. Before she knew it, she was sprinting through the woods, desperately searching for a path, a sign, or anything at all that would tell her where she was. She didn't know how long she had been running, let alone lost in these dreaded woods. A branch caught her foot and she tumbled. It felt like an eternity of falling. She hit the leaf cover ground, pain shot up from her knees and palms. Salty tears dribbled down her cheek. Shaking, she slowly lifted herself onto her feet, her shoes stained with mud and moss. She was scared. She didn't know where her parents were. She didn't know where she was. She didn't know where anything was. She could only hope to make it out of the forest alive. A black shadow broke the glow of the moon. She looked up. A cloud of bats soared over her head. Another scream made her throat ache. Formerly flocked on the trees, birds scrambled through the air, emerging with a colony of bats, almost completely blocking the waning moon. She ran. She couldn't take it anymore. She had to get out of this cursed forest. She was panting by the time she took a break. She gripped the trunk of a tree. Her knuckles turned white and she tumbled to her knees. She looked up and a smile crossed her tear-stained cheeks. She saw a light, a light that wasn't from the moon. She pulled herself up and stumbled from the forest out into the town. Hordes of people gathered around her. She yelled, but no one acknowledged her. She saw a telephone pole with a poster stapled to the wood. She walked straight to the pole. It was weird. She dodged anyone walking towards her, but no one moved out of the way. It was only her. She got to the pole and looked at the poster. Written on the poster in big blocky letters, it said, Missing or Dead. A young girl went missing in the forest on October 31st. The girl's name is Lily May. If any information is found, please call this number. She stopped reading. She recognized her name. The picture under the words was her, but her eyes showed back to one word, dead. She took a heavy breath and looked down at her arms. Her eyes widened and she trembled. She couldn't stop it even if she wanted to. Her arms were white and translucent. She knew that wasn't how they should be. Ghost, she whispered. Thank you for joining me by the fire and listening to my story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you don't have a death as sad as Lily Mae's.